What are Icelandic people like? You got to tell me. You know, I mean, I don't know how much I know about the people. They, um, uh, what I observed yeah. is uh, they love wool. They love wool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They love wool. Uh, fish. Fish. They love fish. Uh, they get, um, you know, very excited when it's not dark anymore. Right, because it's dark quite yeah. a bit there, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then the sun finally comes up. Oh, and they just go bananas. They get right. very excited about that. Right. Uh, they really seem to enjoy that. They talk a lot about like all the things that they do at night. I think there's a lot of depression. Yes. Uh, that kicks in. You I know? would love it. It's not it sounds so, I I'm with you. You know, so much so that uh, you know um, we really start to think about you know getting a summer home there. And uh, how great it would be to just, uh, you know, live, Did live you, in Iceland. Are you being honest? Did you really think about possibly? Not just possibly, like uh, real estate brokers and, I mean. You talked to real estate brokers about getting yards. a summer yeah. place. Why a summer place in, what's so appealing about a summer place in Iceland? Um, well, first of all, what's not? You know, okay. I mean, uh, just the houses are great looking. And uh, the people, like I said, are very interesting. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and I think it's just really that uh, the heat is disgusting. You know? What you mean, where? In, in the rest of the world? Yeah, just in general, like right. in the world. You don't like heat. I don't like heat, I don't like shorts. Um, <laughs> I don't like uh, the filth and the muck that comes with it. Um, you know, because I live in New York. Yeah. Um, oh, you I don't just, like when in New York in the summer it gets very hot and you don't like people wearing shorts? I, I think it's disgusting. Um, <laughs> I mean, I understand the necessity. Right. Um, but it makes me very uncomfortable. You don't like, and, bare, what you're saying is you don't like bare limbs. Like I do not legs. like having my limbs exposed. Okay. It makes me very tense. Right. Uh, I like to be, I mean, this is like a contained environment, you know? Yeah, and um, they've been checked for lice. And they, <laughs> already everybody I know is sort of lice free. <laughs> I like if you're, uh, yeah, you live in New York, I feel like it's um, sort of like unintentional street smarts that you know you just uh, come up with, like as uh, you grow up in the city. So when I see somebody, let's say, in there, like a man, and they're in flip flops, and they're on the subway, Nothing makes me sicker, you know? Really? Yeah. You hate just looking at that guy's foot. Yeah, I mean, I think it's disgusting. I think in general, it's like a full-blown turnoff. Yeah. Uh, you know, a straight man in a flip-flop. I, I don't care what you're, as far as I'm concerned, there's no excuse. There's yeah. no justification <laughs> for it. Right. So it's what you're nauseating. basically saying is you would buy a summer home in Iceland because you know that it's so cold <laughs> yes. that, that this no is one's going to be. Saying. Yes. You'd go to that length not to see a man's bare foot <laughs> yes. in a flip yes, flop. That is exactly what I'm saying. That's yes. wow. You really despise it. You despise <laughs> bare yes. flesh. Yes, I do. Check this out. <laughs> Bright no. white light. No. Nobody no, like you guys wouldn't do that, right? What? what? No. I don't. No. I completely agree. Yeah, I mean, it's one thing. <laughs> now, full nude, like in the movie, the fine. terrific film, uh, yeah. that's fine, you right. know? Right, right. But if you notice, there were no flip-flops, were there? It's true that there weren't flip-flops. No. Yeah, because... Uh, Are you kidding? We would not That's why it's a great film. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's an excellent film. So had that great film had one scene where there were flip-flops... I, uh, I couldn't, I couldn't really? stomach it. I couldn't, I would have had to leave. We right. cut it out for the version Natasha saw. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Taylor's in it. I love Taylor. I, you know, she's like a funny Liv Ullman in it. I, yeah. I would have had to leave. Yeah, I would have yeah. had to leave. Wow, have you always had this? It sounds like a phobia. It's it sounds not like really, a skin phobia. It's not. It's it's more just a, you know, all that hot flesh. And I, I just don't like. I don't. I think I just don't like it coupled with the dirt and you know the element of like strangers. I think it's got a lot to do. It's sort of like it occurs to me sitting here with you that it's um, taxi driver esque. You know what I mean? It's a little bit Travis Bickle, the way I feel about like the filth in the city streets and like Why one Travis day Bickle a hard to rain mind? is gonna come and it's gonna wash these streets clean. Right. That's a little bit how I feel about it. I, I just love that you said, sitting here with you, I'm reminded of Travis Bickle. <laughs> one of the great. Yeah, but you know, I mean, that's sort of how I, whenever the snow comes, Conan, I yeah. think to myself, happy. yeah, this is nice. First of all, everybody's covered up like respectable people, Right. you know? <laughs> And uh, not a bunch of scumbags running around. <laughs> like you know, how anybody who's sweating, wearing shorts is a scumbag. It's like they're just sweating. Look at that scumbag in those shorts. With their fanny packs and their, with their Metro cards and their flip flops. It's nauseating. <laughs> oh my I, I can't God. handle that. Oh my it's, God. Yeah. The All right. Sunblock. <laughs> That's where I draw the line. Do not go after sunblock. Yeah. The only reason I'm still alive yeah. is because there's an SPF 150 that NASA makes. Yeah. I would be dead without sunblock. You should probably, uh, you know, get a house with us in Iceland. <laughs>